what's up beautiful people how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel i'm sure you guys already know what you want to watch you've seen the title you've seen the thumbnail and you know exactly what you're about to watch but before i get into the video kindly do me a little favor let's make this channel popular if you're not subscribed to my channel kindly click on that red subscribe button down below and also on the bell sign so you would be notified anytime i upload a new video so it's about um prophet bushiri um his church in Botswana has been closed down like closed down completely according to the news online the recent crackdown of the church comes just a few weeks after the government of Botswana lifted the visa traveling ban imposed on Bushiru during former president Lan Kama's presidency um unlike other Malawians you guys know he's a Malawi um citizen Bushiru who is also known as Major One was forced to apply for a visa each time he entered Botswana in 2017. The then Nationality, Immigration and Gender Affairs Minister Edwin Batshu told MPS that Bishiru was too demanding. And according to the news, I think what he was demanding was that he was demanding that anytime he comes to Botswana, he was demanding for, you know, um, like some special security or something. And he also demanded that um you know you know it's normal in all countries the borders are always secured the borders are, the borders are always locked so he demanded that they should always you know leave the border open few like few hours to when he wants to come into the country to you know to do his his program or his you know his stuff in the church that should, and i think he, he he wrote a letter through the church that they should you know allow the border to be open for a particular point in time to his own in, to his own convenience which i think is not good enough so they, they um according to the news they indicated that um battery indicated that the government slapped bushiru with a visa restriction because of his demand which were tantamount to the national security threat and he revealed that bushiru wanted every security for from state security ongs whenever he was in the country to me why would you why would you want extra security if if you are you know if you are playing why would you want an extra security must you i don't i don't understand must you get securities you people that are men of god like you know men of god spiritual men of god you have all it takes and the way you preach the way you perform miracles and all those stuff why do you want security why can't you you know pray for security from god if you really believe in him like all these pastors these days you the other time i uploaded a video of one pastor in abuja that will raise the debt. The video, I will put the link down below. Like, even looking at the video alone irritates me, really. It irritates me. But I don't like talking much when I pick on pastors because, yeah, maybe because what people used to say, oh, you're always picking on pastors, oh, leave God to judge. But sometimes we are seeing things clearly with our eyes, but we just, should we just keep quiet and pretend as if these things are not happening? Or we should just keep quiet and pretend or not to talk because we want God to judge, like, no, this is not normal for a pastor to be asking from for security from the government. Hey, now, wow, this is serious. So it was also stated that, you know, um, as the church got closed down, the church got closed down. They before it got closed down, they asked him. This was the problem. I think after before they deregistered this church, I think early this year or last year, they asked him to bring some some things that he wasn't able to provide. And it's not something that he can't provide, but I think he doesn't want to provide it. They asked him to bring, um, what's this, um, I think three years backward of the income of the church, like what the church is earning, they want to know what the church is earning, which money are coming into the church and all those stuff. So they want the one for about three years back, but he didn't bring this um, to the court to, you know, to prove it and sort out the whole issue. So for the fact that I was not able to bring this whole thing out, that was what led, that was part of, I think not, that's not the only reason why um, Botswana government decided to, you know, to lock up the church. Like anybody who goes to his church now in Botswana, they are doing things illegally. And I'm, I, I feel, I think this last Sunday, which is just yesterday that passed, they didn't, they didn't, um, they didn't do any service. You understand what I mean? So let me just read what is here for you guys. The church approached the court last year to oppose the deregistration, but later withdrew after Bushiru in, intervened and asked the leadership to desist from taking the court route to resolve their differences with the government. Last week, a letter that was dispatched to the church from Botswana Police Commissioner 
um, Kibestui Makopi, I hope I pronounced that well, dated November 11, warned the church to stop congregating or undertaking church activities because they were operating illegally. So, and that was because, you know, the, it, I think it does not want to be open, it doesn't want to be open with things that it does, you know, you don't want, because bringing that, now bringing your, your, your income, the income of the church for the last three years, and I think it's not going to just be that, I think every year they're going to be, you know, bringing their draft of everything, and that means every single penny that comes to the church is going to be registered, it's going to be recorded, and everything at the end of the year, or maybe I don't know how they do it, maybe every month or every year or every six months, everything will be on the government's table. And that is almost like his, his own asset or his own riches or like everything that has to do with him when it comes to money is now being public. Because if it's with the government, they might publish it or, you know, it's public already. It's public. And I'm sure it doesn't want, you know, people to know it's real assets to know his real income to know what is coming into the church and what is going out of the church so by so doing now that means his income is being public to to everybody and i'm sure that is the reason why he has withdrawn from the courts um to from the court to settle the issues with the government so as a result of that you know all the members of um, bushiri's church in Botswana now they stopped going to church they stop you know they stop um going to the congregation all they do is I think that the only choice they have now is only to watch his um, television program like on YouTube. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. So they're going to be doing it live. For, they've always been doing it live anyway. But now they're going to be doing it live for people in Botswana who are not, you know, able to partake. But for, I think for people who have money, for people who have the money, you know, to take the flight and go to uh, Malawi, they will go there, you know, to, 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 to worship God. But to me, I think God is everywhere according to what the Bible says. So I see no reason why you want to start taking, people will start taking plane. They have already, sure, they've been already taking plane, you know, to go there to, to service, to, to, to worship God. But to me, I see no reason why you want to travel from one country to another, from one state to another, to go and, you know, worship God when God is everywhere. But so, some ignorant people, they will still see nothing wrong with this, okay? When it's not a conversion, it's not a, you know, it's not like... It's just for maybe once in a year or two times in a year, a, a special program or something that you say, okay, let's all just go there, let's be there and all those stuff. Like, how long will they continue to be doing this? Like, every Sunday flying from Botswana to um, <laughs> to Malawi. But I think for those people who doesn't have the money or they can't afford it or they are so busy or one or two things come up, they're going to be following him online. So what do you guys think about this? To me, this is not normal. This is not normal. I know in some part of the world... In some part of the world, um, churches are not being registered. But in some other part of the world, churches are being registered. Like in Nigeria, I don't, re I'm not really sure, so I don't want to say what I'm not sure about. But I think some time ago, churches are not being registered. The only thing I know churches do that they they used to be in a organization like the CAN, that's Christian Association of Nigeria. They are always registered there. But I don't think um, that's just a, an association of churches in Nigeria or Christian. In Nigeria, I don't think it has anything to do with the government. I am not sure of that. Uh -huh. I think it's just an association and doesn't have anything to do with the government. But I heard some time ago that very soon, even churches in Nigeria, they will start, you know, they want to like come to that stage where they will start, you know, registering their churches and even mocks. You have to, re you have to register it. We are not sure if that's going to come to existence because Nigeria and all their things is always turned upside down. So let's get back to the part of Prophet Bushiru. What do you guys think about this? To me, I think this is not normal. If you are not having, if you, if he does not have anything to hide, if he does not have anything to hide, he's not supposed to have any issues to to bring out those things. What's there? Just check into the record. Normally, every church they have their own um, record and all those stuff. Does it mean that they don't have record? Like when they collect offering, they don't know how much they collect for offering and tithe or for special offering or for seed and all those stuff. Does it mean they don't they don't have um like they don't have book or calculation or something that they used to do? Definitely they do. So if it, that means he has something to hide. If he doesn't have something to hide, he will not, you know, tell the elders in the church to stop what they have to do with the courts, that they should try to settle what they have with the government without the courts and risking his church being closed down. Like, so, okay, he's happy or he's, he's, he doesn't care. Like, he doesn't care. But I know his worshippers or some people, some ignorant Christians, we still see nothing wrong with this. 
they will see nothing wrong with it because they are ble- they are being blinded spiritually. If not, if the church is a is is of God and the, the spirit of God is the one leading the church, why would you want? Why would you, when you know the consequences, you know the consequences that this thing you are doing might bring might bring the church to be closed down. You know these things, not if you don't know. But you prefer to be silent. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't care about it. It decides, you know, to lock up the case. Even after they, they, they register the church, they close down the church, it did not appear in court according to what I read online. It didn't appear in court. So that means it doesn't care about you guys. You guys should open your eyes. You guys should be wise and see what is happening. I hope with all these things that is happening now, other churches, other big churches like that, other pastors like that, they are going to learn from this and, you know, come down from all those they are their lifestyle and their acts the way they used to behave like to me sometimes when i see all these miracles and all these things people do eh, i used to be like is this real like is this real the other time it was the raising of the dead the dead i mean to say like when i watched that video at the end of the day after some some weeks we heard that the man died how will you not die coughing are made for dead body for crying out loud coughing are made for dead body how will you collect money and pretend to be dead that somebody raised you up what god has not done you you like hey people they don't even fear god again they don't fear god they fear nobody only god is going to help us in this situation so what do you guys think about it drop a comment down below on what you think about this issue like to me i think it, this is not it's not it's not supposed to be a shock to me i don't know about you if it's a shock to you it's not a shock to me because somebody who has you know decided to you know to do what he wants to do then the government also we do what they want to do so that's all I have to say for this video. I would like to know what you guys think. Drop a comment. The comment section is not there for decoration. Drop a comment on what you think, but make sure you don't use insultive words. Be sure not to insult anybody, even though you object to what they say. And if you object to what I say, drop a comment. If you agree to what, I, what I've just said, drop a comment. I'm going to see you guys in my next one. But before then, stay blessed.